This is a good question. Is there an earthly way to invoke a bash script which can persist PWD, the present working directory, after it exits? Um, guessing not without blah, 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 blah. Um, I'll answer this question. So as written, it depends on how you're defining invoke. If I'm taking invoke to mean that you're running bash space the script name, or you're running dot slash the script name, basically if you're fork and execing a new process, which happens to be a bash script, then no, that new process can't cause its present working directory changes to bubble up to the process above it, which is your parent process, which is the shell running on your terminal. Um, so no, there's no way to do that. However, you just said invoking the script. If you were to put this in, like, let's say a bash RC, or even if you're using a different shell, like you have a Z shell RC or something, you could put a function in there and a function operates just like a script. The only difference is it runs in the context of your current shell. So changes the function makes like setting global variables, changing environmental variables, unsetting variables, defining functions, changing the PWD, these will affect your current shell. So I think what you're looking for here is an alias or a function or something that can run inside your shell. Um, technically speaking, you could source the script. So say you're running a bash shell and you want to invoke a bash script, you could just source that script, but that's really dangerous if you don't know what's going on in that script because all that stuff will happen inside your current shell. So that's a technical answer to your question, but the, the, the answer I would say to stick with and what you're probably looking for, make a function, source it in your bash RC, define a function in your bash RC, something like that. And then if it changes your current working directory, your shell's current working directory will change with it because they're one and the same. Once you fork and exec a new process, you can't really go up and change the directory of the process above it unless you do something like really gross and operating system specific and start like modifying memory of running processes. Like very, don't, don't do that. Um, there's no clean way of doing it.